see first time once you go in the jira once time you create up the basic configuration jira provide and the workflow is to do in progress and done column right but what i want to see even same for a stories also if you open any is a story you will see the three stages to do in progress done but i i want more column because this stages is not sufficient for me i need to do the configuration based on my project need when i say this thing in the theory in the practical i'll show you here right for example this is one of my project alight mart website so i want to do column but i want one more column called development in progress so if any stories in the development i can move this thing so i need this uh, uh, customized column similarly i want a testing in progress column then i want the block column also and then i want the ready for sign up column also if i want to take a sign up from the product owner or the stakeholder and done column but jira won't be providing this information so then how do i configure this thing that's the challenge right so let's encounter this challenge so currently you are seeing you are having this three stages only and in the is a story also three stages so what you will go again go to the project setting workflow right hand side workflow you are seeing the workflow over here click on the workflow this is very important now you see for the current configuration which jira has provided you like simplified software flow for this sgp where you are having this five stages and if you click on the edit option okay you see the workflow i am seeing only to do done in progress but i need more so what you do click on the add status now you want to add a column uh, first give the meaningful name so let's for example take example i want to create a development in progress column so whatever the task where the development has started i can add over here so add a column one option is there allow all stages to transition to this one the meaning of this is for example if your story is in testing column and some bug came so it can go back to the development column if the story has moved to the close but i want to see that the, the task has not done i want to move back to the development column then you use this stage so if you are a new in the jira board configuration as scrum master always select all option so what will happen from any stages to it can go to the development in progress column right so what i have done now i have created to do i have created development in progress column what i want i want a testing column also so create a testing in progress column again select the all stages so that is for all stages i'll show you one more thing why i'm saying the all because uh, it will make uh, the scrum master life people life easy so people can move the uh, jira task or the story from uh, any stage to any stages but if you are making very uh, complex workflow it will be very difficult if you would have seen in your organization what people do instead of all what they do i'll show you they say from the dev, uh, testing in progress column it has to go to the okay so from testing in progress column i want to show, uh, move this to the done column from there it should it should not go anywhere back uh, here and forth so what you can do in that case you can add the transition so you see the transition once you click on the transition what you want i want from testing in progress column to done column and give this transition name you can see the testing is completed it means the testing is completed everything is done i would like to move this uh, to the testing to done column add it so you are seeing now here the transition i'll show you right so this is a transition from testing in column to it has moved to done so what will happen in that case whenever the story is in a testing in column it will go only on the done column it cannot go from any other column it cannot go back to the development column it cannot go back to the to do column why it cannot go because this is how we have wrote the transition that's why the beauty of a all column is that if you are not sure that maybe this uh, is a story cannot be completed or some bug has come so I, i want to move to back to the development column so the always the recommendation is there once you are starting from the basic always select the all column instead of that delete transition what you can do just click here and click the all add, uh, all transition over here at transition yeah. allow all status so it will come all so it will it will be very easy for you
in progress and you want to add one more column review in progress then you're seeing one more thing guys over here like in progress to do and done right so you know that whatever the things which is in progress it will be also always in progress it cannot be to do it cannot be done because the things is happening in present that's what the purpose of that i'll show you one thing Okay. For example, if you see the done column, done column cannot be in progress, right? Or it cannot be to do. It will be always done. That's why we are selecting the category done. If you select the in progress, it means something is happening there which is not right. So that's there, right? So this is the workflow. So what we have done here, I created the basic workflow. I, I need a stage to do. I need the development in progress. I need a testing in progress. I need the review and sign up. I need a done column five column I, okay let's add one more state so i want a block stage also why a block because if something you as a scrum master we say right we are an impediment remover how you see the impediment if any impediment comes where you want to move it so if you create a one column block column clearly or impediment column clearly so move the stages or move the jira tasks is a story there so directly it will be visible or always start from the block column first because it has to uh, remove first the impediment has to solve first. So you can create a column. Impediment column, which which I always use for my team. Now all stages and add. Okay, this impediment column, you need to make sure this, this cannot be in progress because impediment is something which has been, the work has stopped there. Even the done, it, it cannot be done also. So it will be always to do because from something which was working properly, something has blocked, people are blocked, so they can't do anything. So it will go in this stage and create it. And then you put impediment if column ideally should come after the, it can come anywhere, but the good way is to put in the testing in progress. Okay. So this is my workflow I want for my team. You created a workflow, what you will do? just publish draft you are seeing the option over here publish draft once you click on that save a backup copy yes i want to save a backup copy what you can do you can give the meaningful name for your project like sgp or sgi website okay or whatever your team name give that so this workflow it will be for you or if you why why, why this name workflow is name is important for example, uh, multiple team are working in your team. You see one more Scrum Master come and he, he or she do, do not know how to create a workflow. And you get create as a coach, coach for coach for him. He can be coaching for you. He say, okay, do not create a new workflow. I have already created one workflow. You can copy my workflow. That's the purpose of that. So once you publish this thing workflow, it, this workflow will show in the Jira for all the member to whom you gave the accesses now. So now you see the workflow. Now I'll show you the beauty, right? So before how it was it, it was only the to-do column, in-progress column and done column, right? Now let's see. Okay, now you see here, you are seeing from the to-do, the stories what you are having now, it was only to-do in progress and testing but you can see the impediment here you can see the development in progress you can see the review and sign up column you can see testing in progress column just you can see the done so the magic happened here right so now you can move the story can move on the appropriate column for example developer has started the story he can move to development in progress column if he is he has an impediment he can move the imp impediment column appropriately so this is how the workflow comes this is the workflow for a user story same it will be applicable for task also why because if you see on the top, I have created a workflow called the task Jira is a story in Epic. So you can see that it is happening for the task also. So one shot you can do for all. If you want to, you can see for the Epic also. Same thing is happening. See, this workflow is enabled. This is how we create a workflow. So don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and share it with your friends who might also benefit from it. And remember to subscribe to Papa Sky for more guidance on your path to success.